Hi there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this tutorial I will going to show you how you can create Power BI table chart. So table chart is one of the very common chart which management always ask or the user always ask because that shows the information in table in which historically or traditionally people are used to of seeing the information. Though charts is always uh, uh, interest them however you cannot take the table away. So we will see in this video how we can create the Power BI table within the uh, Power BI ecosystem or the Power BI uh, tool and uh, format it. So before I move ahead, quick information as you can see I am using this sheet which is present in the description which you can access and it has the links also uh, of the YouTube videos. So you can directly search and jump on a particular topic or you can go one by one and feel free to share with anyone who may want to learn from it. All right, so let's go into the Power BI and see how we can create the table chart. All right, so here we are within Power BI and on the right hand side, just beside to the slicer, you have this table. So once you click over here, the table is present it just has one field which is values so what we were going to do we will let's say we want to create the table which shows that by region what is the sales and what is the profit and for that i will select the region and then i will select the sales and then i will enable the profit so by default all of this information will come over here and a table has been created now this is a very simple and basic table uh, which is showing you the region if I bring it in the middle uh, shows you the region the sales the profit however you may want to format it based on your user need also do the conditional formatting as well so how we can do the conditional formatting even we can see that so for here we go into the format and you have first of all couple of style related formatting right now the default but uh, there is something which is minimal uh, which is present over here as a style and you can see what is the style over here and then you have the bold header in case if you need this this sort of a style alternative rows uh, coming from traditionally from the axle um, you have contrast you have flashy so feel free to use this and see whether it makes sense for you but for now what I'll choose is maybe minimal I think this is fine and in the grid, uh, do we want a vertical grid or not? As you can see, vertical grid was present. So if I enable that, horizontal is anyway enabled. What should be the grid color? What should be the thickness? Similarly, horizontal grid, what should be the color, thickness, padding? If you want to increase the padding, as you can see, it is, you know, spacing is being uh, increased as we are increasing the padding. And then we have the outline color. What should be the outline color and the weight of this outline? and down there the column header uh, where what should be the font what should be the background you can customize from here uh, outline uh, bottom is where the outline but you can see bottom and top both the places outline is present uh, auto size column width is fine i suggest but you can enable or disable it as per your need and text size what should be the text size so you may want to increase this little bit in case if this is how you have your user have been used to of seeing the information so i guess 12 is good alignment what should be the alignment i guess center or left or right up to us or we can choose the auto in this case um word wrap in case you have the uh, a long name for this so you may want to enable that so that it is coming in one single column then you have the values uh, so what should be the font color what should be the background color alternate font color uh, but what i really want to show you so again uh, before i show you conditional formatting which i uh, wanted to show it as we use it frequently the total so total is coming over here uh, total is enabled what should be the total label so total sales or sales or grand total whatever you want you can we uh, show it outline which this is the black outline so top top only top and bottom both uh, you can choose that then you come with the field formatting uh, what should be the region and for region you know what should be the font what should be the background color and all and down there you will see 
you have the conditional formatting and you want to increase or you want to enable it for the background color so this is for region but no we don't want on the region um, so what we will do is we will choose the sales and we will increase it or enable it and as you can see the background color is now enabled similarly if i want i can choose the profit and enable it and then the profit is also enabled for me so that's mainly i wanted to show you uh, the background color which can be enabled and you have the advanced control to change the color let's say if you want a different color altogether different value different summarization sum of profit is something right now that you have but if you want uh, instead of sum you may want median or you may want average you can change that so that's mainly I wanted to show you the this feature which always needed when you are creating the uh, table chart. So that's about uh, how the different formatting options which are available. Apart from that, as you would see, all the options are very straightforward and available almost every other chart. So feel free to experiment with that. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next topic.